know how to work with different interests, different parties, different um, organizations in order to make something work. Sherry Donahue considers herself a problem solver, first as an engineer, then as a cybersecurity specialist. Gay Adelman worked in marketing and became a champion for education after co-founding Dear JCPS. What I've been doing, I've been doing for the last six years advocating uh, for public education and against these outside threats and outside interests. Both women say they're unhappy with efforts to cut education funding and trim teacher retirement benefits. What we really need to do in order to restore world-class schools is to address the harmful state laws that uh, tie our district's hands and um, pit schools against each other, focus too much on high stakes testing. We need to make sure it, by the government keeping that money or not giving that money that was earned, that's theft, right? So we need to make sure that we're not changing those things up. Donahue also wants to repeal recent laws limiting unions and reducing wages on government contracts. These unions are there to protect the families, to protect the workers. We need to make sure that they have a, a living wage, that they have the benefits. Edelman says she wants to fight special interests. Uh, we really saw a lot of those threats come in in 2017 when the Koch brothers registered to lobby for the first time in Kentucky. And that first week of session, we saw seven horrendous bills passed. The winner of the Democratic primary will go on to face the winner of the Republican primary. That's where incumbent Julie Rocky Adams is being challenged by Sheba Jolly. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.